Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design elevated reinforced concrete slabs in RAM concept. This is the first video in this series where we're going to be reviewing our RAM concept model and we're also going to be performing the calculation. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I've opened the mesh input layer. Go ahead and take a moment to familiarize yourself with the slab geometry for this particular model. Now that we reviewed our slab geometry, we also want to take a look at your design spans plans to ensure that everything is set up appropriately before the calculation is performed. One particular parameter I want to point your attention to are the detailing rules criteria. So let's take a look at where that is specified. If you go to the main menu, you're going to select criteria followed by detailing rules. Now span detailing is the process of determining the peak reinforcement requirements in a region, normally from support or mid-span, and then extending the reinforcement based on either code or user-defined rules. In RAM concept, you can create a custom user-defined span detailing rules within this criteria. For this particular model, we went ahead and used the code-based detailing rules that's available by default, and we also kept the none option available to us. Now that we've reviewed the criteria, let's return to our latitude design spans plan. And here you can see I have the majority of the design spans already selected. I'm gonna right click and say selection properties, and I'm gonna point your attention to the CS span detailer. That's the column strip span detailer information available in the column strip tab in this dialog. Now, since the majority of the span segments are modeled to represent their actual span, you're gonna notice that most of the span segments are using the code rules for detailing. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the span segments where I chose to use the other criteria, which is basically specified as none for this particular model. Let's go ahead and right click again and say selection properties and again, find and again, find that field. Now in this particular area, you're gonna notice that the span segments are not modeled to represent their actual span since the column layout is fairly irregular. Now, if we use the code rules for span detailing, RAM concept would interpret these span segments as cantilevers and detail the reinforcement accordingly. It's not exactly what we're looking for here, so we wanna make sure that we pay attention to this field in particular areas where your span segments don't necessarily represent the span. In addition to that, you can also specify which type of reinforcement you wanna use in which area within your slab. So let's go ahead and take a look at that again in the latitude span. I'm gonna select now the majority of my span segments for this particular model. I can right click and say selection properties and then I'm gonna to go to the column strip tab. Now RAM concept will use the reinforcement material properties as specified in the criteria as part of the input and it will report the reinforcement bar requirements as part of the results. Now most of the span segments in this model are being designed as a two-way slab with number five bars in each direction for both the top and the bottom bars. The middle strips are also specified to use the column strip properties. For this particular model, the one exception to that rule is in this area where I have a significant step in my slab and a reinforced 
concrete beam. These span segments will be designed as a reinforced concrete beam and I've chosen to ask the program to detail it with number seven bars longitude top and bottom for the actual beam portion. Now in RAM concept, when you do have a reinforced concrete beam, you may be interested in also specifying different type of reinforcement for the middle strip. So you can see for this particular model, I chose to specify that the middle strip does not use the column strip properties and I would like number five bars detailed for the top and bottom in this particular area. We are now at the point of our workflow where we're ready to review the calculation options and perform the calculation. Now, each time I perform a calculation in RAM concept, I do like to review the calculation options first. To access that information, we're gonna select the criteria menu option and select calc options. In the calc options dialog, I'm gonna review several pieces of information that are available on the general tab. The first checkbox I wanna point your attention to is the check capacity of longitudinal user reinforcement. If this option is selected, RAM concept will perform a check of the existing user reinforcement and post-tensioning without adding any additional program reinforcement. All failed locations will be reported on the status plans. Now for this particular model, this is the first time I'm performing the calculation and I don't have any user reinforcement modeled as of yet. So I'm gonna leave this option unselected. The next thing I wanna point your attention to is the section for your codes. In this area, you can select which design code you're using and you can select from a variety of US and international design standards. And you can also enter your live load reduction information. The last area I'm going to take a look at is the reinforcement layout and detailing parameters. Now the reinforcement layout and the detailing parameters will influence how RAM concept lays out and details the program reinforcement. Using the default values for these parameters usually results in an acceptable program reinforcement layout. However, you may want to try adjusting these parameters if you want RAM concept to arrive at different layouts after your calculation is performed. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Now that we've reviewed our calculation options, we're ready to perform our calculation. So let's go ahead and click on the process menu. And you're gonna notice that there are two different options available for calculations. You can do a calc all, or you can do a partial calc. Now in RAM concept, when I'm designing an elevated concrete slab, I typically will perform the calculation several times throughout my design process until I arrive at the reinforcement layout that uh, I'm interested in detailing for my project. That being said, at this point in the workflow, I'm going to choose to do a partial calc. This will allow me to enter the extent of my calculation and it will also allow me to not interrupt the calculation for warnings. Again, for this point in my particular workflow, I'm just trying to get a preliminary program reinforcement uh, to be determined for me. Now, that being said, I do wanna make sure that my extent of calculation is going through the detailing. This is where it will go ahead and create that reinforcement for me. At this point, let's go ahead and click the calc button and you're gonna see the calculation is going to start to perform. Now, even though I told the program I wanna go ahead and skip warnings, warnings will still be reported after the calculation is performed. They just won't interrupt the calculation at this point. After the calculation is performed, you're gonna notice that the errors and warnings will appear in a pane over at the right-hand side of your screen. At this point, I'm going to ignore my warnings and errors, and I'm gonna go ahead and address those later in my workflow. For me, for right now, I'm interested in reviewing my analysis results and taking a look at my design results as well.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.